capable, if, if the computer is capable, uh, you can actually hit the menu and, uh, you know, in my case, I can overriding menu F12, depending on the computer, you can actually force it to run off from a CD-ROM, whether it be a, and here I have a CD that is a DOS formatted to make it easy. Uh, it boots up from DOS, emulates an A drive. Um, so the, the no drive found uh, is essentially uh, because it can't detect USB drives. The USB drives are de detected by default anyway um, through system. Um, BIOS detects the CD uh, USB uh, drive, so that isn't that isn't the problem. So that's done. Okay. So the first thing you do is uh, go to F disk. You know, this is not a floppy disk. Although you see a uh, A drive, it's not a floppy drive. Okay. F disk is to fix the disk. So uh, what it'll do is that it see whether the drive has a partition and uh, uh, if you didn't have a partition, it will say no active partition or uh, and that you will know now. Okay, when you display partition, it will tell you whether it is a DOS partition and here you see it's a active status will tell you it's active primary DOS and the system already telling you FAT16. Uh, this is an old uh, 800 odd Mac drive, you know, it's a small drive. So, okay, now to give you an idea, I'm going to delete that partition. And you know, I know that the, if it's a non-DOS partition, if it's any other partition, you still need to delete it. Okay, you want to get rid of the partition. Uh, no logical drive. Yeah, it is a primary DOS, so I need to select one. Uh, escape, select primary. Okay, uh, escape, delete delete partition or log okay delete okay this clip uh, three delete 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 pri delete primary partition okay yes and then if you had a volume label you would have to give it in this case there's no volume label so you just enter Okay, primary DOS partition deleted. But the moment you delete, you'll have to reboot and come back. You can do any any present day computer is a, is a better bet. It should ideally have one SATA or one you you be able to connect a USB drive, CD-ROM. Uh, it should have uh, one or two IDE drives. Um, that would be the right thing to do. On the next round, when it comes up, boot up boots up, uh, all you need to do is fix the disk again, FDISK, um, create DOS partition, and you, if an unprepared drive will look like that, you know, there's no partitions defined. Uh, so you create a partition, and this is where you say no, because you, the more if you say yes, it will become a FAT32. You will have to say no to uh, retain it in FAT16. So um, if this drive had a whole lot of stuff, and this drive is only 800 odd meg created. Okay, you need to escape. Okay, it is not set active. Um, so you need to set uh, primer, set that to active. Uh, which partition do you want to set? You can set any partition active. Okay, you want to set uh, uh, partition one. Uh, you are, this one only has one. Okay, escape done. Again, you'll have to reboot and come back before you form any drive. 